the brightest moments and kid video excitement, Family Home Entertainment's Tops. We bring you the capers of the cuddly little canines no kid can resist. They're the pound puppies. And they're waiting for you at video stores everywhere. And here's the hot new sensation that's sweeping the nation. Spyro Zone, the program that takes WizKids' imagination to the limit with its high-gloss tales of adventure and intrigue. Enter the incredible realm of the Spyro Zone. Then hop aboard the Maple Town train for a visit to the land filled with laughter and friendship. It's Maple Town, the widely acclaimed delight that more and more parents are choosing to brighten and enlighten their preschoolers' day. Pound Puppies, Spyro Zone, and Maple Town, three of the best on Kid Vid Cassette, all coming your way from Family Home Entertainment. It's the Pound Puppies! Here's Cooler, Whopper, Nose Marie, Bright Eyes, and Owler. Whatever you get paid for the mongrels, we split 50-50 as we agreed, right? Agreed. Oh, Captain Slaughter, he's such a dream boat. Patches? 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 Where are you? Boogie? Boogie. Hey! Who's there? Cooler, is that you, Snookums? Oh, fiddly D, I must have just been dreaming. <gasps> or having a little old nightmare. Where'd my pretty necklace get to? My brand new genuine fake diamond necklace, it's gone. Someone's been into my personal possessions again, and I think I know who. Okay, bright eyes, alias Little Miss Light Fingers, come out with your hands up. What's wrong? You know very well what's wrong. I want my genuine fake necklace back, and I want it now! I didn't take your dumb old necklace, but somebody took my patches! Your what? Patches, my dolly! She's my best friend in the whole wide world, and now she's gone! All right, now I'm mad, I'm furious, I'm enraged, I'm... I'm... 
I'm a little teapot, short and stout. This is my handle and this is my spout. And boy, am I schemed! What in heaven's name is wrong, Cooler? Somebody stole my woogie! Your woogie? What's a woogie? Well, a woogie's a thing. You see, it's it's like a... a... Never mind what it is. It's been stolen and I want it back. Call the police. Call the Marines. Call, call me irresistible. But call somebody. What is it, Whopper? My scrappy doo squeaky toy, it's been stolen. But I saw the whole thing. This man, this monkey, no, no, this huge monster came into my house. He was a dinosaur, uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex, yeah. And he stole the entire house with me in it. But I became his master, Cave my Whopper, King of the Dinosaurs. And it's all in my new autobiography, which I just sold for a million dollars. Want to read it? Nah, I'll wait till the movie comes out. <laughs> Oh, hey, guys, what's down? Uh, what, what, what's where? I mean, oh, what's up? The Pound is undergoing a rash of crime tonight. I've had this rash for weeks. <laughs> is there anything missing from your humble abode, Howler, honey? Let me check. Nope, uh, everything seems to be in place. How in heavens can you tell? <laughs> Quiet here, so hold your tongues a sec. It's better. <laughs> Take it away, kiddo. Thanks, Cooler. Now, about these missing items. My genuine fake necklace is not missing. It was stolen by a sticky fingered scalawag who shall remain nameless. Says you, you, you dull napper. Before you two blame each other, keep in mind stealing is a serious matter. And according to the bylaws, any puppy found guilty of stealing will be automatically banished from the uh, bandage. I mean, uh, 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 banished from the pound. What's banish mean? It means leaving the pound forever, thrown out into the cruel world to live on the street of broken dreams. What you think, Cooler? Lose Marie, I think we ought to get you some acting lessons. <laughs> But first, we've got to get to the bottom of this mystery. So, to lead the investigation, I've chosen the greatest canine detective I know. Ooh, how true, how true. Here he is, one of our brand new pound puppies, the brilliant sleuth hound, Sherlock Bones. Gonna solve me a mystery. I guess I can bid my genuine fake necklace aloha. Golly gee willikers with hot fudge and sprinkles on top. I sure hope Sherlock finds patches. And someday, bright eyes, I sure hope you stop talking like a dessert menu. I say, Bones old Bean, are you on the twill of the cat who stole my squeaky toy? Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? What the, Bones? Where are you off to now? To that there crook's hideout. Land of Goshen? He went into Howler's house. Whose house? Uh, house? Who's his? Oh, my house. Hey, wipe your feet before you go in there. I just shampooed the rug. This place doesn't need shampooing. It needs a little old wrecking ball. He got bones. Have you found the clue? Uh, 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 that's not all. I found the goodies. My necklace. My squeaky toy. My woogie. My woogie. His woogie. My dolly. My golly. Paula, what's all our stuff doing here? I have no idea. Uh, no idea. I mean, I'm, I'm citizen. I'm, I'm succulent. I'm, uh, 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 I'm not a crook. Do you know what this means, Howler, honey? I'll be banshee, a bandage. Uh, 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 banished from the pound. Uh, can't banish me from the pound, I'll banish myself. Oh, the only trouble is, I didn't steal anything. But then again, maybe I did. Maybe I was weak slocking, or, or, or sweep talking, or oh, oh, oh. maybe I was hypnotized. Uh, 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 all I know is my friends don't trust me anymore. Oh, oh poor Howler. Don't forever for 
a puppet pound out of the cold, cruel world. It's a crying shame. <laughs> hey, Mellow Out knows Marie. I'm not scheduled for a bath until Tuesday. It's not going to be the same around here without Howler. I'm open, open, open. I know. This is the pits. And it's about to get pittier. Look who's coming. Your Auntie Katrina, with a smile sweet enough to give you sugar shock. Holly, dear, sweet, adorable Holly, I have a surprise for you. What is it, Auntie Katrina? A letter. It came last month sometime. I've been meaning to give it to you, but it simply slipped my mind. What mind? It's from the city building inspector. He's coming tomorrow to inspect your pound. Tomorrow? That's right, my dear. And if your pound doesn't pass inspection, the city will shut it down. Yeah, yeah, shut it down. Bye, bye, puppy pound. <laughs> <laughs> Mighty unneighborly. Let's face it, Mr. Rogers, she's not. Hello, boys and girls. Can you say Katrina is a creep? Sure you can. <laughs> if we're gonna pass inspection tomorrow, we better get this pound in shape. All right, you heard her, pups. Let's mop up. <laughs> oh, Rotina, the puppy pound is as good as closed. But, Mommy dearest, Holly and her icky poop puppies are fixing up the yucky pound. Make them stop, Mommy dearest, make them stop. Oh, don't fret, my little toadstool. Holly won't pass that inspection because we're going to make that pound look like a national disaster area. Cat Gut, I think you know what to do. <laughs> By tomorrow night, the pound will be shut down, and those yapping mongrels will be in the capable hands of Captain Slaughter. Oh, what a man! Cooler, I have to hand it to you. The pound's more beautiful than ever. Hey, no probs, Holly Kid. We'll pass that inspection with flying colors. What I tell you? <laughs> Be careful up there, little whopper. But of course. Suck with blue. Hang on, whopper. Suck with black and blue. Suck with whoa, whopper. <laughs> The building inspector will shut us down for sure. Hey, come on. Think positive. We'll get this place fixed up in a jiffy. Uh, make that two jiffies. Well, we'd better, or we'll be joining Howler out there in that cold, cruel town without pity. Oh, where, oh, where has my little dog gone? Oh, where, oh, where can he be? With his ears cut short and his tail cut long. Oh, where, oh, where can he be? Oh, why, gum howler, you sing one sad song. Why, you even look sad, like you lost your best friend in the whole wide world. I have. In fact, I've lost all of them. Listen to old Spuds, laddie. Your true friends you can never lose. They'll come back, you'll see. What's my nose telling me? <laughs> smells like hamburger, or uh, uh, humbugger. Uh, 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 smells like dinner. Come on, Howler. Let's follow our noses. Now what? It's gone. Somebody stole my official Scrappy Doo Squeaky toy again. Hatches is missing. So is my genuine fake necklace. All right, who swiped my woogie? That's strange. I feel like we just did this scene a little while ago. We did, Cooler Honey, but it's happening all over again. Dun, 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 dun. We're traveling through a doggy dimension, a realm of stolen squeaky toys and lost woogies. There's a fire hydrant up ahead. Your next stop. The Pound Puppy Zone. Submitted for 
your approval. Four dogs who have been robbed. Can anyone tell them what in pup's sakes is going on around this place? I up, I up, I up. I sure can, Cooler. You'll find your goodies right where they was last time. I up, inside Howler's doghouse. There they be. I up, I up, I up. But Sherlock, how'd they get back here? Poor little old Howler's gone. I, uh, I reckon Howler didn't take him in the first place. Well, then who did? Maybe we should ask the dudes behind the curtain. Bank robbers! That's a stick-up! No, Whopper, they're raccoons! An entire family reunion of raccoons! How long have you zanies been hiding out in Howler's house? Oh, just long enough to build a nest. For the birth of our babies. Then our relatives drop by for a little celebration. Party! 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 But why, oh, why did you steal our little old things? I know. You wanted your babies to have some nice toys to play with, right? No, not really. We stole your stuff because, hey, we're raccoons. And stealing is what raccoons do. We're thieves. Mother Nature made us this way. And who are we to argue with Mother Nature? <laughs> but what about poor, pitiful Howler? Alas and alack, he's been unjustly accused of a crime he didn't commit. Now he's out on the street where he'll meet certain doom. Not if we can help it. Come on, crew, let's roll. I know I'm a raccoon, dear, but right now I feel more like a skunk. Oh, me too, dear. All right, pups, it's time for Operation Find Howler. Nose Marie, Bright Eyes, Whopper, hit the streets. Wow! Sherlock, you and the other pups help Holly with the repairs. Oh, yup, oh, yup, oh, yup. Pound puppies, let's start pounding. Rookie there, Howler. It's a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. What a monk of heat. A, a, a hunk of meat. But, but I'm not going to feel it. Meal it, meal it, heal it. Oh, I am not going to steal it. I am no thief. Yeah, of course you ain't. Me neither. So let's see we go scratch at the door. Maybe whoever's inside will give us a slice. Sure. What have we got to snooze? Uh, to lose. Oh, good. Somebody's coming. I hope they're friendly. Run for your life! I give me the distinct impression he don't want to share that steak with us. Yeah, and I'm still hungry. You must be hungry. Your stomach's growling something fierce. <laughs> that, that, that doesn't my warming. It wasn't my stomach. Oh. It's him! Howler's close by. I can smell his scent. That's the best thing you're smelling, honey. This neighborhood is an insult to my large yet cute button nose. Oh, this place gives me the willies. Oh. That's Howler! And he's not singing one of his happier tunes. Nose Marie and I'll take the high road. You guys take the low road. Let's move! He won't see us in here. Unless he turns on the lights. Thanks a lot. Oh, 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 oh. Gruel, 
Am I glad that's over? Who was that terribly rude and thoroughly unfriendly man anyway? That was the captain, who is not the president of the Pound Puppy Fan Club. <laughs> Poor guy. Someday, Cooler. Someday. And so the raccoons admitted to stealing everything. Howler, you're innocent, innocent, innocent! So this is what you call your basic heartfelt apology, Howler. With whipped cream and a cherry on top. So how's about it, pal? Will you come back and break biscuits with your old friends at the pound? Will I? Oh, you bet! What did I tell you, Howler? Your true friends you can never lose. Well, it's been nice knowing you. Wait a sec, Smudge. Where you going? Back to the streets. That's where I make my home, you know. With all those Sunday drivers out there? No way, Jose. You're coming back to the pound with us. Hooray! We're gonna close the pound. We're gonna close the pound. We're gonna close the pound. <laughs> oh, Bratina, dear, you write such clever songs. <laughs> Catgut, my widow fuzzy was the ooty booty cootie. You made your mommy very happy by trashing that horrible doggy dive. Oh, mommy dearest, can't you just imagine that inspector's face when he sees the pound? <laughs> Why, that's no pound, Miss Stoneheart. It's a dump. And what a dump! <laughs> <laughs> It's great to have you back, Howler. But we may all be out on the street before long. Don't worry, Holly. We can flex. Uh, we can. We can flex. Uh, oh, it's a lot of work, isn't it? It'd take an army of workers to get this place fixed up. Perhaps we can be of service. You know, Rocky. Perhaps you can. <laughs> Mr. Sullivan, the building inspector, so nice to see you. Good morning, Miss Stoneheart. I've been looking over the pound next door and... I know, it's such a mess. Too bad about those poor puppies. They'll be homeless now. But you don't understand. The pound is beautiful. What? No, they couldn't. How could they? How did they? Thanks, guys. We couldn't have done it without you. Hey, it's the least we could do after all the trouble we caused. No, no, no. This can't be! But it is! In fact, this pound is so beautiful that I'm giving it a special award! No! And there's more! More? I'm adopting one of the puppies. Ecky, 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 poo! Yuppie, yuppie, yup! I found me a home! No, no! My life is ruined! Why me? Why me? Ah, ha, 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 ha! Stoneheart's latest plan has failed. She may find herself forever trapped in the pound puppy zone. Then I don't know what she's so upset about. I couldn't think of a nicer base to please. Uh, uh, please to be. Uh, uh, I love these pups. <laughs> it's the pound puppy pet care corner. Pets come in all shapes and sizes, and they all have different needs. There are big pets, small pets, lazy pets, frisky pets, loud pets, and quiet pets. A sheepdog pup will grow too big to live in a small apartment. Even a pet bird needs your love and attention. Molly needs a friend. Ah! Be sure to choose the pet that's right for you, for your happiness and your pets. Like that there. 
the sea too long. What are you talking about? There, there's a typhoon coming right at us. Why, that's not a typhoon. It's just a little puppy. Oh, you guys never believe me. This must be Holly's puppy pound. So, what can we do for you, short of putting you on a leash? I came here to see if you guys could find me a home. A home? What you need is a little old cage. Just look at the mess you've made. Haven't you ever been housebroken? Sure, I've broken up lots of houses. That's why they call me Buster. Well, we'll try to find your home, Buster. <laughs> It'll be easy. Yeah. Who wants to adopt the natural disaster? Holly! Keep those mangy mutts under control. I have important visitors coming, and we don't want to be disturbed. Yes, ma'am, Auntie Katrina, sir. Who's coming, Mommy Dearest? Investors, Bratina. Investors in a scheme that will get rid of those pound puppies once and for all. Oh, my investors are here. Lord and Lady Belvashire, the third richest couple in the country. And I intend to take them for an absolute fortune. Wow, wow, wow. Ooh, ooh. Look at the size of that car. Must be somebody important, like like the mayor of Milwaukee. Silly. Those are classy, high-born types like little old yours truly. Hmm? I could truly appreciate the aristocratic life. <gasps> Lord and Lady Belvishere, what a privilege and honor it is to meet me. I mean you. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> How nice. What do you say, Mommy? Quiet. Uh, and who is this cute little boy? Oh, this is our son, Hubert. He's quite the young rapscallion. And what sweetie weety children's story is Whittle Hooby Wooby Weeding? I'm reading about the molecular structure of dioxyribonucleic acid and its relative relationship to genetic evolutionary progression. Is that anything like the three little pigs? Yes, well, well, let's get down to business. I'm about to offer you the most exciting investment opportunity of the decade. Stoneheart Estates, the condos of the future. I think this videotape I've made says it all. Katrina Stoneheart needs your cash, she really wants your money. She's gonna build Stoneheart Estate, so give her all your money. Hi, friends. Katrina Stoneheart here, asking you to write a check now. Yes, let's close down this ugly dog pound and put up these beautiful, expensive condos instead. And don't forget, all it takes is money. Your money. So that's your plan. She's gonna close us down and put up condos. Not if we can help it. Come on, Buster. Your tornado act might come in handy. Certainly. I've had a tornado open if we Yes, Lord Belvisher has seen enough. He wants to invest a large sum of money immediately. We're rich, Mommy Dearest. We're rich. <laughs> Oh, dear. What a shame. It, it seems my husband has forgotten his checkbook. He can't have. He's got to find it. It's got to be here. It's a... Uh, no. oh, 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 I, I mean, oh, my, that is a shame. Oh, no matter. We'll send our driver over with the check within the hour. Ta-ta! <laughs> Goodbye, puppies! And hello, money! <laughs> What's the matter? Oh, nothing. It's just that we're trying so hard to find homes for these poor puppies. And that cruel woman wants to tear down the pound. <laughs> you mean this is where that Stoneheart woman wants to build her condominiums? Outrageous! <laughs> exactly. Lord Belvis 
Lucia says, if we may, we'd like to make a sizable contribution. You what? You don't know how much this means. But I know what it means. You're trying to finagle my clients into helping your pound. Well, it's not going to work, Holly. I'm afraid our decision is final, Miss Stoneheart. We're going to support this girl's fine work instead of your condominiums. Sorry, Auntie Katrina. You're going to be very sorry indeed, my dear. <laughs> I'm to an if <laughs> Unfortunately, Lord Belvishere doesn't have his checkbook. So why don't you come to our house for lunch and we'll give you the check there? I'd love to. Oh, and do bring your dogs along. Who knows? Perhaps adopting a puppy would amuse Hubert. Oh, cooler. We're going to luncheon at the Belvashires. Maybe those extremely rich folks will adopt little old me. Yeah, who knows? Maybe they will adopt you eat me instead. No way, sugar, because you're not coming. You'd simply wreck everything. Or your worst nightmare. Blast that infernal Holly and her sniveling puppies. What you gonna do, Mommy dearest, huh, huh? What you gonna do? Let's see how the Belvishers feel after they think those dogs have destroyed their beautiful mansion. I like it, Mommy dearest, I like it. Catgut, go find a few of your nastiest friends. We're going to nail those dogs with your nails. <laughs> what a ritzy joint! A pup could have a good time around here! Buster, you gotta 86 the tornado routine around here. Buster! <laughs> that Buster! He's been here less than 10 seconds and he's already made a big splash! Bright Eyes, you are so painfully naive it makes my little old teeth hurt. Now mellow out, kiddo. If you wreck anything around here, you'll be wrecking it for Holly and the Pound. All the puppies are inside, Mommy Dearest. Now's your chance, Catgut. I want you and your friends to sneak into that house and shred everything in sight. But don't let anyone see you. I want those flea-bitten puppies to take the blame. Good luck. And have a ripping good time. <laughs> Buster, stop! Where is your etiquette? I must have dropped it on the floor. <laughs> Just do as I do. When I pick up a spoon or fork, you pick up the same one. <laughs> oh, delicious! But I don't see how holding the spoon helps. You are hopeless! That was a delicious lunch, Lady Belvashire. Oh, I thank you, dear. And now my husband will go find that wayward checkbook of his. <laughs> Gee, in a joint like this, I bet you even the termites are rich. <laughs> and to think I am going to call it home. <gasps> but what if they don't pick me? <gasps> I'd simply die. Don't worry, Nosemary. If it looks like they're picking me, I'll roll over and play dead. Oh, oh, they, they got me. 
<laughs> Farewell, cruel world. Oh. And hey, hey, they won't pick me, so I'll just tell them I got fleas. And I'll eat too much. Yeah, that'll ruin my chances. Oh, boy, can I eat. One time I ate a buffalo. No, no, make that the whole city of buffalo. Yeah, yeah, it was full of cats. Great big 20-story cats with 15-foot claws. And it was the, the attack of the killer kitties. Yeah, more like the attack of Whopper's killer imagination. <laughs> Oh, gee, you guys never believe me. Now, where could Lord Belvashev be with his checkbook? My, that checkbook really is lost this time. <laughs> well, at least he's still looking. And in the meantime, Hubert can select a puppy to call his own. Excited, Hubert? Frankly, I'd rather be working on my quantum theory of time and space. Okay, puppies. Anyone want to be adopted by Hubert? <laughs> Oh, my, they don't look too enthusiastic, do they? Gracious me! We've got a live one! Oh, Hubert, this puppy looks like just your cup of tea. Lord Belvashir, you found your checkbook. <laughs> oh, it was in the deep end all along. Uh, let's go find a waterproof pen. Well, Nose Marie, you get an A for effort. A D minus in music, but an A for effort. Drat. I almost had Hubert ready to crack a smile. <gasps> what was that? <gasps> This place looks like it was hit by a snow cone, a, a Toledo, a, wi a wind whirl. I mean, what I mean, a, a, a buster. <laughs> buster! Buster! I'm in here! Buster, where have you been? Right here, watching TV. There's one for every channel, but the show's a boring. This isn't a regular TV, it's a security system. They got the whole place hooked up to video cameras. Hey, I denies it! I plead the fifth, the sixth even! It wasn't me! Oh, you little windbag! Wait till I get my hands on you! Hey, wait up, you guys! <laughs> Cats! Oh, wait till Cooler hears about this! Oh, nah, he'll never believe me. Wow! This must be the maid's day off! What a mess! Gotcha! I didn't do it! I'm a victim of circumstances! Merciful heavens! You nasty, nasty dogs! You've destroyed our beautiful home! There must be some mistake! <laughs> Young lady, Lord Belvashir says you can forget the check. Now I'll thank you to leave. We never want to see you or your puppies again. <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> <laughs> Riches, social position, gone, gone forever. Oh, now, come on, Nosemary, you have to look on the bright side. There's a bright side? Sure, you still have your friends, and we think you're just super needle peachy king with whipped cream and a cherry on top. I do believe the bright side is going to make me sick to my stomach. Oh! <laughs> Cheer up, Nose Marie. Things could be worse. Oh, in fact, things are worse. Katrina Stoneheart just called up the Belvishers. So, you'd like to invest in my counter project after all. 
<laughs> oh, yes, yes, we'll bring the model and our videotape right over. <laughs> They're going to give us money! We're gonna be rich, we're gonna be rich. Knock down the puppy pan, because we're gonna be rich. Catchy tune. You can dance to it. They're giving an eight. This is no joke, Cooler. With the Belvisher's money behind her, Aunt Katrina will boot us out of here. And it's all your fault, Buster. You blew my chance to get adopted, and then you blew the Belvishia's house to anybody pieces! I tell you, it wasn't me, Nosemary. Why don't you do us all a big favor? Just go away! I, I guess you're right. I don't fit in anywhere. No, Buster! Golly, Nosemarie, you were mean. That's not the way a pound puppy should act. He never meant any harm. He just doesn't know any better. Buster's never had a home or family, so no one's ever cared enough to teach him how to act. Not only that, but Buster didn't smash up the Belvershire's mansion. What do you mean, Whopper? Those mean cats did it. Yeah, sure, Whopper, sure. The monster kitties with the 50-foot claws, right? No, no, I mean Cat Gut and his pals. You saw Cat Gut and his pals at the mansion? Why didn't you tell us sooner? Because you guys never believed me! So Buster didn't do it. I bet Auntie Katrina was behind it all along. But how will we prove it? Just leave that to your old pal Cooler. Pound puppies, let's start pounding! Oh, poor pitiful Buster. I have to go beg his little old forgiveness. Hurry up, Bratina. We don't want to keep the Belvishers waiting. I'm hurrying, Mommy Dara. <laughs> but this thing weighs a ton. Oh, stop whining. I hope this plan works, Cooler. <laughs> oh, Lord and Lady Belvashir, I'm honored. Whoa, Mommy! <laughs> oh, Bratina, you clumsy oaf! I, I, I mean, uh, are you uh, are you all right, dear? I guess so. <laughs> So we should begin, Miss Stoneheart. Oh, by all means, let's talk turkey. Or better yet, let's talk money. <laughs> Your money. <laughs> Does that mean he has his checkbook this time? Oh, yes, indeed. Lord Belvashir is ready to make a sizable investment. How delightful! But he would like to see your video presentation just one last time. Oh, absolutely. By all means. I have the tape right here. And it's showtime! <laughs> Isn't my commercial? Why, Miss Stoneheart, that's your cat destroying our library. I, 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 I can explain. Lord Belvashir says that you can explain in a court of law. <laughs> Somebody really does care about me. Let's go back to the puppy pound, Nose Marie. Well, Buster, you swept me off my little feet. <laughs> <laughs> and Lord Belvishir says he'd like to double the amount we were going to donate to your pound. I can't think you enough. No, think nothing of it. Now, come, Hubert. It's time for you to pick a puppy for your own. Very well, Mother. Let's see. I'll take... No. Maybe... Oh, no. Then how about... No. Well, that leaves. Huh? Hey! <laughs> hey, cut it out! <laughs> 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 
gonna burn oh, you my word. Hubert's laughing! <laughs> <laughs> And a big, 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 oh, oh, big, beautiful home. And Moose Marie, you have a big, big, oh, big, beautiful heart. Why, thank you, Cooler Snookums. <laughs> but us genteel, refined, high-class folks would say it another way. How's that? We'd say, My Jove! My Jove! My Jove! It's the Pound Puppy Pet Care Corner. shall we do? Lighten up, Lowe's Marie. This cat's lucky. He's wearing a tag with his owner's name, address, and phone number. Try those baby blues, pal. Getting you home will be a cinch. Make sure your pet wears a tag so he can be returned to you if he gets lost. <laughs> 